going on, Chronic Sonic here today, bringing you guys another episode of Where in the World is There, the weekly series where I show you guys where Zer is in the world of Destiny, what he has to offer, and my opinion on whether or not you should pick it up, or if you shouldn't pick it up at all. And right now I'm playing as my Titan, and he's getting jiggy with it, so let's get right into it. He's in the tower this week, and he is near the Crucible, so let's jump down these stairs like a ninja. Jump down these stairs like a ninja. Oh, 360. Hi, Iris Morn. Okay, here he is. So Zer is right here, you guys, and uh, let's find out what he has to offer us. I'm super excited. I hope he's selling us some really good stuff for the Taken King. Okay, once again, Zer is a disappointment to everybody, and he should really just go go home. <laughs> As you guys can tell now, he has the inmost light, the helm of inmost light, uh, pardon me, which gives you rain blows, which increases your melee attack speed for your uh, titan. Um, invigoration reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of light. Recklessness provides death from above and headstrong with for fist of havoc. And then it has just 32 strength and 160 defense. I don't. I'm not too sure what they're doing with the defense levels now for the Taken King, but I hope they have a plan because um, I've been playing this a little bit and I'd seem to get like killed every single time I'm fighting level 10s or like even the level 20 vanguard strikes now they're just wrecking me so I don't know what's going on maybe they have to balance it out a little bit more I'm not too sure um but as you guys can tell now this helmet has 170 def excuse me 170 defense and I'm not too sure what's going on with this why is this one's 160 this one's 170 I'm not 100% sure but this is called the Celestial Nighthawk and it's for the hunter and it pretty much has ashes to asset which replenishes super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade uh, inverse shadow increase super energy from killing minions of the darkness and golden gun fires one shot delivering six times the damage while granting keyhole for over penetration and that's called big game and it has intellect at 25 so that's pretty much what you're getting for the celestial nighthawk and again it has 170 defense so if you guys are looking for a uh, helmet to get your light level up there a lot quicker um, then you might as well just go ahead and pick this up because I think the max cap right now is 170 for defense so that's cool um, Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock is 160 defense and it has uh, 30 discipline and it has Serpent's Tail causing damage with the melee reduces your grenade cooldown Infusion replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of light and private reserves immediately regenerate health on activating your super and then it has three defense upgrades and 160 defense and 32 discipline so those helmets are pretty decent really good um then you have the no land beyond sniper rifle which is a horrible primary sniper rifle um i would not recommend getting this one at all just str save your strange coins for something better next week um but let's go over what he has um, soft ballistics, less recoil, penalty to impact, accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. So you're really not getting anything cool with this one. It has mulligan, missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine, but like it has a chance to, so it probably won't. Uh, lightweight, when held, this weapon grants plus two character agility. Snapshot, aiming this weapon is incredibly fast, and flared magwell, reload this weapon even faster. So that'd be the only one you'd want to pick is uh, Flared Magwell. And then the Master. Increased precision damage. Kills briefly. Increased damage against next target. So I don't even know. I think it's if you have more precision kills, you do more damage. But as you guys probably can tell, this weapon is not very accurate at all. So it's pretty hard to actually use this weapon. But for those people who are really good with it, then good on them. <laughs> And then they have the four damage upgrades for this weapon. And then the body and grim, as you guys can tell, he has no exotic shard this week, which is really sad. Um, but he has uh, armor and grim, so if you guys are looking to get some armor and grims this week, you might as well pick them up. And then he's not selling any telemetries, which is pretty sad as well. And he's only selling three heavy ammo synths. So he has the plasma drive, emerald coil, and then three heavy ammo synthesis and then one mode of light that you could buy for strange coins and that's about it guys that's what Zer is selling so if any th any of this intrigued you or any of this uh wanted you to get anything from Zer or whatever then that's cool um but right now i'm not really buying anything from him I'm just showing you guys what he has i was really hoping he would have something cool like 
an exotic ghost or something something new that you could actually purchase which would be sweet but hopefully later on in the line he would uh in the future he would sell something like that that'd be pretty cool but this has been chronic sonic and this is where in the world is there episode 13 i do believe and if you guys did like this video make sure to hit that like button comment down below if you guys would like to see a, an exotic ghost or something that like anything that he would anything that you would want him to sell pretty much um that'd be pretty cool and uh yeah i'll be back next week to show you guys where there is again and uh, what he has to offer and i'll talk to you then take it easy guys bye